So on the roof, you can see that black line across the roof. Let me give you a closer look. You can see that right at the ridge, it's that kind of shadow line. That's a ridge vent, so that's where heat escapes the attic. But with air escaping, you need air kind of coming in. And so heat rises, so the lowest point on the attic space is right along the ridge here. I mean, uh, right along the soffit. So on the undersides of those soffits, which are sheathed in plywood, I'm going to be adding these soffit vents. Give you a closer look what they look like. So on the back side, there's a screen, and these little louvers on the other side. So you basically just cut holes on the undersides of the soffit and screw these in place. As long as you get them nice and straight and spaced evenly, I think they'll look all right. Uh, so far, I've got it spaced to where there's going to be one coming in, one foot on each end, and then one every five feet. I think that's what I'm doing. Every five or four feet, something like that. I'm kind of figuring out how many I need. I have extras. For cutting out the holes for the vents, what I do is I take this piece of plywood here. That goes under the soffit up against the rake board, I mean the fascia board. And then I put this template up against that and trace around the one that says hole. That is the hole for the vent. Next thing I do is I put the one for screwing up under the uh, soffit and then put the vent on it in place and then screw it into place. So that will keep all the holes lined up and then all the vents lined up. I use some of these terms sometimes and not everybody's familiar with these terms. This is a fascia board. That little board right there, the vertical one. And then up under, you have the soffit. So the soffit is this piece here, and this is fascia. Fascia, soffit, soffit, fascia. And then that's your drip edge, and then that's the shingle overhang. This is a house. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can check the description as well for links to all kinds of stuff, including my new book. And if you have read it and enjoyed it, please go on Amazon and leave a review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.